I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. A business meeting, of a sort at least. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple, we're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Oh, exceedingly. The free market there is in full effect. Anything goes as long as you have the money. We'll be taking advantage of that. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. This is not gonna go well. Nothing ever goes well on Neon. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Neon's got an energy to it like no other. Ah, smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic forms. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Kazambas's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. There should be a sign, dump your Aurora here. You'd make a fortune if you put a net right under here. There's nothing in the settled systems quite like me on it. Crazy, terrible, and never dull me on it. There's a bounty on you. Get that cleared as soon as possible if you know what's good for you. Neon. 
some people love it. I spent too much time trying to stop bad guys here. Whole place just gives me a headache. Benjamin Bayou is so not compensating for anything. Egomaniac. Astral Lounge. I mean... You don't tell Walter, but his company can make a hell of a ship. Mr. Strout, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Constellation? Sebastian Banks. His final address before he disappeared. Second it. Look at you, Walter. Secretly a Constellation geek? <laughs> I am not going to be forced into embarrassment in my own office. The answer is no. Talk to him about it later. Once he cools down, he'll be all ears. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astral Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. 
James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of real humanitarian. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Let's not close the door on this just yet. Bullets flying would certainly be bad for the club's reputation. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away.
Oh, of course. The Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. Come back soon. Hey there. Save it for someone who gives a damn. There a lot, right? Gucci's a lot of fun. They even bring Corey here. You like making a purchase today? Sure. Watch your back out there. We're fully stocked and ready to sell. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I connect a lot of people with a lot of people, you know? Can't track them all. All right, all right, uh, uh, just ease up. 
Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the cellar back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even... Don't.
still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Is everything ready? Until next time. Is everything ready? Good. Let's be on our way then. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Are they? It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Standard operating procedure for business on Neon. Cloak and Dagger's par for the course. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Last drink was stronger than I thought.
What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. We have plenty of Aurora. Music is amazing! You just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. It's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. Me to be a doctor. A doctor. Mother, right? So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting? Making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... All right. You win. Hand over the money. This... thing is all yours. Well done. Well, my pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Coe? 
Is it everything you imagined? Ain't you ever heard of sarcasm, friend? Okay, so how's it traveling with one of the great co's? Not better? <laughs> yeah, but no autographs, okay? I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. There's books about him. Lots of them. All right, a couple of high notes. He was one of the first grav jump explorers, back when they had no idea of the dangers. First solo jump out of Soul System, all him. He explored all the planets in Cheyenne and settled Aquila. Plus, he formed the whole Freestar Collective with Voli. So, as you can see, the names got some serious heft. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Korra to... <laughs> I don't know. Your kind words are appreciated. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars, and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? That's what I like about you. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. 
Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. I know your type, the free wheel and space ace. Hoping to get a meeting. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Arguments with Mr. Slayton tend to go long. I'm not sure we can fit you in. That doesn't sound like something Slayton Aerospace would have the legal authority to do, does it? I'm afraid we just can't book any more appointments today. Goodbye. You have a question? You can chat with the receptionist all you want. I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Never a good sign. Clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Well, a moment. Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. This isn't worth it! <laughs> this event of you. 
Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess that... Coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top.
You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Aren't you? In the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline, there's a part of you that belongs here. It happens to all of us. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so execution seems excessive. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh no, you. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Slayton took it all, probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... Thank you. You just won the lottery, pal. Don't waste it. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. done with you. If my shift goes long again, the girl's gonna kill me.
one guy got them. What do you call them? Your ride ship is off safe the with us. List. Just head inside, and I'll release the locks on your takeoff controls. Happy flying! Ship's all good to fly again. Just head inside. I'm sure you can find something you like. Thank you, I guess. Some people call Isa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's a me, and a her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> Yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. We have lift.
more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on. 